It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with us today. Yes. It is a Friday and y'all, it's also St. Patrick's Day. We got our green on, we're yeah. ready to go. And Megan has graced us with her presence. And uh, you know, I needed Megan for this video because Megan is the one that brings the Irish to uh, our family. I'm the token Irish person in our home. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a whole lot of German and American mutt. Honestly, I'm a whole lot of German and English, but I am a quarter Irish. There you and, go. And I, I love the Irish side <laughs> of, of me. So. That is enough for and me. My and I think it's enough for all of our friends. We're gonna have fun <laughs> today, y'all. We're gonna be looking at whiskey in the jar, the traditional Irish tune. We're gonna be listening to it three ways. Yeah. Uh, and it's gonna get, uh, it's gonna be fun. You know, I, it, <clears throat> I almost decided that we should do uh, Danny Boy by the Muppets. I do love that so much. I could totally be animal. In that. You could be animal in another that. Another video, another time, y'all. I love this. Okay. But we're here today. Well, we're, we got our to we got our Irish whiskey. We got our red breast whiskey. So uh, good. And uh, so we're gonna have whiskey in the jar, but not for too long because we're gonna drink it, y'all. Uh, <laughs> the day is named for Saint Patrick. Let's 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 take a look at the etymology of what we're talking about. The day is uh, named for Saint Patrick. Well, not the big words etymology. Uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> we have the smartest viewers on YouTube. <laughs> yes, the, indeed uh, we do. St. Patrick was the patron saint of Ireland. He mm -hmm. lived in the 5th century yep. and we celebrate the day on what is regarded, we're not really sure, but what is regarded as the date of his death. Yeah. Uh, the day is actually a Christian feast day. Yes. Uh, it was adopted into the church calendar back in the uh, 17th century, and it commemorates the arrival of Christianity in Ireland. It's also, uh, you know, in modern times, a public holiday around the world. You don't have to be from Ireland to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. It is Correct. celebrated in more countries than any other national festival. Huh. On this day, anybody can be that. Irish. We're, That's right. Uh, we're all welcome. But we're here's, all Irish today. But here's my question for today yes. that I really want to know <laughs> from our friends here how they're going to do this. So St. Patrick's Day falls on a Friday this year, right? And since we are in the Christian season of Lent, oh, y'all. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Especially Catholics, you know, the, yeah. uh, the you know, the, 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 the good Catholics, right? Especially Catholics. A lot of them refrain from eating meat on Fridays. Yeah during Lent. Yep. So uh, if y'all are not eating your uh, corned beef and cabbage, there's plenty left over for me. I will <laughs> I will take care of you. I've got you covered, y'all. Or I wonder if you're, you know, taking a, you know, a sabbatical from Lent for just one day because it's St. Patrick's Day. I, that's like two customs colliding. I mean, I'm not know? Catholic, but for me, I think that's allowable. You know, sure, I, I think sure. there's good reason for it. And like you said, it is a Christian feast day, hmm. so I don't so know. So we are, uh, we're spending St. Patrick's Day here uh, engaging in some Irish fun. We've got our green on. I've got my hat. Comes directly from Killarney. Yes, it And uh, we've got our green on. We've got our drink of choice. In fact, I need, woo, Ooh, to get, nice deep, I need to get the whiskey in the jar, sound. so to speak. We gotta get the I need whiskey to pour in the jar. mine. We like our whiskey over just a nice single ice cube, y'all. So I'm not going to overdo it. I'm not going to overdo it for right now because we got more time for later. Yeah. But uh, here's yours. <clears throat> Thank you. Here's yours. I like that we're using our... Um, American bourbon glasses, but they work, right. y'all. It does work. Oh, and that smells so darn good. This is amazing. Red Breast. It's uh, our favorite Irish whiskey. Yeah. Uh, don't tell Jameson. <laughs> but Red Breast is wonderful. We also I like so uh, Green Spot. Green Spot from Ireland. Excellent. Wonderful Yellow Spot stuff. as well. Beautiful. It's lovely. Cheers. Cheers, my lady. Cheers to all of you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Mm. I'm going to save the rest for as we get through this. So we're going to start, oh, y'all. It's wonderful, isn't it? Um, we're going to start with the Dubliners and their traditional arrangement of this classic mm. uh, tune. The song dates back to the 17th century. Uh, although its exact origins are unknown, there are some similarities <laughs> with 
some broadsheets from the 1600s. There's also a similarity to the Beggar's Opera plot by uh, John Gay. That dates from 1728. Mm. Uh, and like many of these traditional songs, it's been passed down, oral tradition, passed down for centuries. And it takes on these different names and subplots wherever it goes. Mm. And it reached a form close to its <clears throat> modern version in the mid-1800s. And so uh, this song, as we know it today, I had never known what this song was about. I've I've kind of sang along to it and enjoyed it for years. Honestly, had no clue you, what they're talking about. I, I have as well. ring dubba doo dubba da. You know, <laughs> whack for my daddy. I have no idea. You know, but apparently, well, it's... I always assumed, but I'm I'm finding out that maybe this isn't completely true. I kind of always thought that it was like like a highwayman, like like kind of a, like like stealing from a like tax collector that's exactly, or some kind of thing. That's you know? exactly what I found. So okay. it's set in the southern mountains of Ireland and the protagonist is a rapperie or highwayman. And this person this type of person was a person that was basically a robber or a bandit. And they would often steal from people who were traveling along the road. We've mm. seen some of that stuff in Outlander. Right. Right? Yeah. Um and in Ireland, read these, lots of books with that kind of thing. For and sure, seen shows, in, movies. In yeah. Ireland, these highwaymen uh, were considered uh, part of the Irish resistance to uh, British authority, British mm. control, and especially resistant to the rise of the Protestant Church mm. in mm -hmm. Ireland. And as a result, <clears throat> these bandits uh, had sort of a Robin Hood. Uh, style status as right. folk heroes and so we get songs about them and in this particular song I think that uh, our protagonist is wronged by his woman so we're gonna take a look and see what that is so I the mean, Dubliners maybe he had it coming we don't know her maybe story he did have it I, I, if he I robbed somebody know, he probably did I kind of want to know her story I don't think this is about uh, that um, <laughs> okay so the Dubliners are uh, uh, the band that really give us the uh, the really wide appeal of this song starting in the 1960s. And they recorded it, I think, three different times, mm. uh, like four studio albums, and they had performed it for years. So we're going to yeah. listen to the Dubliners doing a live version from 2003. Uh, they awesome. were celebrating their 40th anniversary as a band in this performance. So let's take a look. Cool at uh, Whiskey in the Jar by the Dubliners. This is the more traditional version of this tune, so let's take a look. The Dubliners uh, performing back in 2003. Off we go. Okay. Dubliners Live. We should get that DVD. Yeah. You have to get ready to clap. Okay. There's clapping involved. Play, the, play the claps. Are you ready? I notice that they're clapping on one and three. True folk style. Well, yeah. Right? How you doing? They're doing it. Yeah, they are. They're into it. Except that girl. <laughs> the guy with the girl. Was like, the girl's like, he's trying to get his daughter to, into it. He's like, oh. <laughs> She's like, no. Screw off, Dad. <laughs> it's just a descending third folk song. D major to the five. Back to one. D major. So early in the morning. His woman yeah. has sold him out, yep. and the people that he stole from are coming back to exact their vengeance. Yep. He's like, life goes on. Whiskey is there's whiskey in the jar. I think that's what it means. There's a euphemism, and on and on the flow of life goes. Yeah. It's like the circle of life. There's whiskey in the jar. It's the circle of life. Deceive and Jenny. This, yeah. Damn it, Jenny, what'd you do? This is giving me extreme a mighty wind vibes. All of these folks well, standing up on stage. I think the mighty wind kind of 
Yeah, we should we should watch them. We're missing things. We gotta stop talking. Right back to the chorus. Love it. It was a high love it, 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 love it. Lovely. Love it. So, I think awesome. I had heard of this, but I don't know this version. So we're going to take a look at a couple other versions of this tune. And the first one that we're going to go to, y'all, is by Thin Lizzy. I do know this version. Thin Lizzy is the hard rock Irish band from Dublin. Uh, mm -hmm. They recorded a cover of this mm -hmm. in 1972. And the record label released uh, a single of it in uh, 1973. And it went cool. to the top of the Irish charts. Yeah. And it went near the top of the UK charts. And, yeah. and as I read in, their version takes the song in uh, a more of a rock and roll uh, tr uh, you know, direction yeah. than the folk tr uh, it's direction. Cool. So I think this you is... You haven't heard this, right? No, I think it's this cool. is the original uh, recording, but overlaid with performance um, oh, fun. clips. Okay. So I don't think it's live live. I think they're interspersing uh, live versions of them doing it, but the audio is okay. from the original, I think. Okay. So let's take a look and see how they change it. I'll be interested to see what they, what they do to it. Awesome. So here is Thin Lizzie back in 1973. Off we go. Okay. Well, that's a different opening. Nice. Minor key? Nice. Yes. That's a minor key. Okay. That's an E minor chord. But they go back to G. G major and E minor, relative major and minor. So they stay in G. G. Yeah. Gave it a backbeat. I like it. So instead of That's clapping really cool. on one and three, you're clapping on two and four. Yeah. Right? You can't do that that clap anymore. <laughs> you can't do that clap anymore. It doesn't make any sense. But you can dance on the backbeat. Took all his money. Yep. That's a pretty penny. So yeah, they are describing how these highwaymen would take money from people or rob people, and they well, become folk heroes. But you know, it's a Robin Hood kind of thing. She kind swore of that she loved me. Oh yeah. She, would she never swore she loved me. him. Would never deceive him. But the devil took that one. It's the devil's fault. <laughs> That goes like right back to Adam and Eve. Mm. Like the devil tricked the woman. Hell is old as time. Interesting. It's a really clever re rhythmicized version of the song, right? They take the same basic uh, chords in the same basic harmony, but it's rhythmically set in a completely different way. Mm. And it's in a way different key. Just going down by thirds. One goes down to six. And six goes down to four. Before we go back to one. Here I am with the ball and chain. So in this version, he's in prison. Yep. Right? 
Yeah, they took him and put him. He, he gets taken away. They threw him in the clinker. And it's not Penny anymore. Uh, her name is Molly, so the, the, the names change yeah. a little bit. Awesome. Okay. So cool. we fast forward to 1998, and, and really, this is the beginning of the idea for this episode. When I mm. when we first started talking about uh, St. Patrick's Day yeah. and what we might do on this day uh, for the channel about a month ago. We had we a were, lot of different ideas. Yeah, and we were talking with some folks over on, on the Discord and we were talking amongst ourselves and people mentioned, you know, there's a Metallica version of Whiskey in the Jar. Yeah. And I either had forgotten or I never knew. Yeah. And so I still I, didn't either. I still have never heard it. So yeah. I read in on it <clears throat> this morning. And here's what I found. In 1998, uh Metallica re released uh an album called Garage Incorporated. Okay. And I don't remember hearing anything about this, but apparently it's a compilation of cover songs and B-sides. I don't remember ever hearing about this that either. That they had been including in their live sets. And so they did an entire album of covers. Cool. Right? And so Whiskey in the Jar is included on that album. And uh, uh, as I read in, they base their cover on the Thin Lizzy version. That makes sense yeah. to me. It's going to be more of that backbeat feel. But here's the weird thing, friends. It won a Grammy. Metallica won a Grammy in the year 2000 for a cover of Whiskey in the Jar. Cool. That's a weird thing? I think so. <laughs> It's like a 17th century traditional Irish That's why I think song. it's kind of awesome. <laughs> Nothing is new, uh, friends. Nothing is new. Um, there is a, uh, it looks like a. Um, they're in a like house it. party for a, for the video, the official video of that from back okay, in the I've day. Yeah, I've seen the video and I'm not a fan of that particular video. Well, good, because so... I decided to pull a live version of this. Uh, cool. And the live version I... I, I love it live. I pulled yeah. is... Uh, from 2019, they were performing in Meath, Ireland. So we actually get to see the boys in Metallica playing in Ireland, and they were at a castle called Slane Castle. So uh, I... I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce the name of that town. Looks like Slane, friends. No, 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 no. Oh, Meath? Yeah, but I would... M-E-A-T-H. Yeah, I but would... But they're in Ireland. So I would need to. We get it. So if, here... our friend, if, if, if our friend Candace were here... She would be able to tell us. Yeah, yeah. yeah you guys I think are I got doing close it. enough. You guys are doing it wrong. I got close enough for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so here is Whiskey in the Jar by Metallica, y'all, live in 2019. Off we go. sing the entire uh, chorus. I took all his money. her backstory. The Dubliners are up in D, and it's a tenor range. Then Lizzie went down to G, and it's more uh, 
and then it's, a, it's down by a fifth, and then metallic is down even lower to, to F. It doesn't matter what heater it works. I honestly and I was like paying, I was listening to the song and I wasn't hearing what you said. I'm really sorry. <laughs> the good news is we're recording this so you can watch it later. I'll watch it back. Oops. You drank all your whiskey. I drank all mine. You got any more? I got some. Oh, I'll, I'll leave that for you. You want some? Sure. I won't steal your whiskey. I don't want you to do me wrong. <laughs> I would never do you wrong. I'm coming. Shot him with both barrels. Sorry, Captain Farrell. That's oh. that is why you are in jail now. <laughs> Back to the patio. Such an interesting take on this. You hear the Dubliners and you think they can't possibly. be any different than that. Here it is in a completely different way, but the same. At the same time. Yeah. Megan's got a better ear than I do, though. So, I don't know if that's true. Yeah, you, do. you got better pitch mirror than me, for sure. Well, I have good pitch memory. So you get to move on the offbeats. Makes it more danceable. You should have played Whiskey in the Jar at our prom. Yeah. That had all the kids dancing. <laughs> Live out here. You look beautiful. Something like the fishing. Something like fishing. Like the fouling. I like to hear Metallica family. Haha, I like it. There he is. I like sleeping too. But there he is in prison because she was. Not in Molly's chamber anymore. She turned him in. Now he's wearing a ball and chain. Gotta get out of the way. Yeah, I gotta have my drum set. <laughs> Virtual drums. Please don't drum on my head. <laughs> Whiskey! Great riff between six and one. I'll be damned. It's Power fun, right? Doing whiskey in the jar. It's fun, right? It actually works. Yeah, totally works. It works. I yeah. would enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Is that the end of the concert? That might have been. Might have been uh, the special encore. Okay, I think that's I'm all I'm guessing that was here. probably that an encore. You got Korean there or something. That's cool. Okay, what are we hearing right now? It's do the you end know what the, that was? I don't. I don't know that song. Maybe we should do that next time. You know, <laughs> that was so much fun. That um, was so much fun. Oh, I, I gotta put my glasses You know, out. we go back uh, a long ways with our Irishness. You know, we were married in mm. 2001. Yes. And for a long time, we lived in the Kansas City area. Sorry. And, yeah. and Kansas City was so much fun. It was a great place to live. And yeah. one of my Honestly. great memories from living in that area was the Irish festivals. So 
good. Kansas City has a very large Irish population, yeah. and they do it right when yes, they, they do, do their Irish festival. It's yes, it's do. every year or right around the beginning of September. Yeah. And I can remember it's being always there. right around like Labor Day. Yeah. I feel like it was always Labor Day weekend. Yeah, having great beer and great food. Yeah. And like 20,000 people listening to Celtic bands, Celtic rock yeah, bands. Yeah, they had like... I don't know, three, four different stages, stages um, over an entire weekend. Like one big stage that had yeah. like the big groups and it's a and wonder that I remember really, any of it. Ton of really great vendors. We didn't get that. We Actually, we didn't get sloppy. At if those. you see uh, the create sign, the create oh. rock that's back there that I have in the background. I got that actually yeah. at the Irish Fest. Yeah. Um uh, from one of the vendors there. We've got some I Irish I wish I could remember the photographer's name I... because Ireland Barry and... Ir... if you look up or... Ireland in black and white. Yeah, we've got some of those photos. Oh man. Yeah. An incredible photographer. I really I wish I could remember his name, but yeah. he is wonderful. I highly recommend. Mm. Check it out because yeah. So there you beautiful, go. Beautiful Friends, photos. just be careful. You can have your wait, fishing. Wait, wait. Can what? we also mention sure. um, our yeah. favorite band in Kansas City? Every time we went to, um, uh, did they call it Celtic Fest? Mm -hmm. Irish Fest? Irish Fest. Irish Fest. Thanks. Um, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Anyway, um, every time we went, like the first time we went was when we were pretty new in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. Hadn't been there all that long. And um, we heard about a local band called The Elders and that they were like the big show. Mm -hmm. It was like Friday night and we're like, let's go check it out. And there's thousands of people. Yeah, and more we than 10,000. We were like, on we the like, street. Who? Who is Just this watching, band? you know, like blocks lined up. Thousands You'd think of it was U2, but it was a local Celtic rock band, and Be we had so much fun. They're amazing. They're great. I think I don't think they're doing like shows or, or playing I, much. And are they? they Maybe. Might be. Well, no, they actually came out recently with some new music. Yeah. The Elders, um, great, great they're band. They're awesome, yeah. and it was such a good time, and we really started following yeah. them. Celtic Fest was in uh, Bethlehem, PA. That was That's, Celtic Fest. I'm thinking We've of been Celtic to that Festive, one too, which is awesome. Yeah. Did the elders ever? They don't. They didn't. They went play. once. I no, think they, they were, did play I there. Think they were there one time. That was such a fun. That time. That was fun. Yeah, they're awesome. I, you know, the one of the, uh, I think main reasons why St. Patrick's Day is so um, beloved around mm -hmm. the world is that at its core, it's it's a celebration of of people. Yeah. of the human condition of culture and and you know in every culture we can enjoy a beverage and good company and a, sure. and a good story and it just cuts across uh all of the divisions i think among people we're like we're gonna take this day and we're just gonna raise yeah. a glass and we're gonna say cheers everybody i can't do that anymore because i am out <laughs> of Here, uh, of liquid use, use mine oh i can use yours use mine Ooh. I will say cheers, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day Happy to Saint all Patrick's of you. Day. Megan can take a drink on our oh, behalf. Oh, well, thank you. I share, friends. There she goes. Thanks for hanging out with us today, friends. And we hope that you have a great St. Patrick's Day, whether you're eating fish and chips or or uh, <laughs> cabbage, or, and, and cabbage. Or whatever you have. If you've got some soda bread or some Guinness, we, we don't Ooh, have we any have Guinness with us. We have a very dear friend who's, who... Um, our, our, we have a very dear friend who is from an, uh, uh, an Irish and Scottish family, mm -hmm. but her, her her mom had a really wonderful uh, soda bread recipe, and so so uh, this this dear friend of ours makes her mom's soda bread every year, it's and wonderful. um and I, that's what I love about goes with Hol all of the good food. There, there are a lot of holidays where you where you have your traditions that you like to do, mm -hmm. and um. Um, I always think of of our friend and her mom yeah. and her soda bread every time, yeah. every year when this holiday comes around. It's about so, people, yeah. friends. And so uh, we, we thank all of you for hanging out with us today. We hope that was fun for you. It was definitely fun for us. Yeah. The day is not over for us. We're going to drink some more and have, have a good old time. <laughs> but I think that is all for our video today. Have a great uh, rest of your Friday. Have a great St. Patrick's Day. And we will see you all next time on another edition of the Daily Doug.